गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द काउंट नंबर ऑफ बैड पेयर्स प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर टू थ्री सिक्स फोर द टेक्निक विच इज़ यूज इन दिस प्रॉब्लम विल ऑल्सो बी शोन इन वन जीरो वन फोर सो अ गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व हैविंग सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इज बेस्ट साइड सिंग पेयर प्रॉब्लम एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दिस इन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सो यू विल फाइन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो नाउ लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट In this problem, you are given a zero-indexed integer array nums. A pair of indices i comma j is a bad pair if i is less than j and j minus i is not equals to nums at j minus nums at i. We need to return the total number of bad pairs in nums. If you consider the first example, we have four items: four, one, double, three. Now, in this case, I can just mark all the indices, right? So we have four items, so four indices. I can start taking uh, the j value from index one. I cannot start, I mean, from zero because it it has to have something on the left hand side, right? And I can try all the items on the left hand side having the value i. Now, first of all, you find j minus i. One minus zero is one. Okay, so j minus i has been found. Find out uh, num set j minus num set i, which is equals to minus three. Are they equal? They are not equal. Therefore, you can keep a counter and keep incrementing the counter for counting the number of bad pairs. Now you are done with all the pairs ending with j, which is one. You can increment the j to three. And once you have done that, again try with all the values on the left hand side being the i value. So if you take this value as j, the fourth value, I mean the index number zero value as uh, i value, then j minus i is two minus zero, which is two. and the value difference 3 minus 4 is minus 1 they are not equal so you can increment the counter for uh, counting the number of bad pairs again for this one you can see index 2 minus 1 is 1 and the value 3 minus 1 is 2 so again they are not equal so increment the value for the bad pair we are done again increment the j value and uh, you can try with all the i values on the left side so this is 4 So three minus four is minus one, and the index three minus zero is three. They are not equal, so increment the counter, the bad pair counter. Find this three minus one is two. The index three minus one is also two, so they both are equal. So this is a good pair. They are not bad pair. Okay, they will be called good pair. Now again try with this two threes. Now three minus three is zero, and three minus index two is one. So in this case they are not equal. and that is why this is also a bad pair so we have tried all the pairs and therefore uh, we have got a count of five bad pairs and therefore five is the answer right so if you apply this approach then we will be taking order of n square time right because for every j value we are trying all the values on the left hand side so for the second value in the array i will be having one try for the third value i will be having two tries for the fourth value i will be having three tries and for the last value the nth value i will be having n minus 1 tries right so you can add all these values up n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus and so on plus 2 plus 1 and that will be equals to the sum of first n natural numbers which is n into n plus 1 by 2 so in this case n minus 1 into n by 2 and this is considered order of n square right so the time complexity for this brute force approach is order of n square if you look at the constraint the nums length can be 10 to the power of 5 and if you write an n square algorithm your total number of computations will be 10 to the power of 10 and you will take more than 1 second because 10 to the power 8 operations is considered 1 second right so let's look at uh, an idea which will actually transform this entire problem and will help us uh, reduce the problem to solve in an optimal approach so here let's say that the given array is having 5 items 1 2 4 5 3 Now, according to the uh, total number of pair calculation, you know that for an array of size n, you can have total pairs as n into n minus one by two. That is what I had shown here, right? N minus one into n by two. That will be the total number of pairs. Now, if you consider the pairs to be either good pairs or bad pairs, that means the pairs which are not bad will be considered good pairs, okay? And combining the good pairs and bad pairs, you will have total pairs. So, if you know the number of good pairs. you can subtract it from the total pairs to get the bad pairs right now if you consider the definition of the good pair then i will be less than j and j minus i will be equals to a at j minus a at i how it is different from the definition of a bad pair 
it was said that i is less than j and j minus i is not equals to a at j minus a at i so this is the only difference right so i'll consider counting all the good pairs right so if you count all the good pairs then i can say that j minus i equals to a at j minus a at i so after rearrangement bringing this a at j on the left side and i on the right side you can write that j minus a at j is equals to i minus a at i now if you think about what is this j this j is actually the index and what is this a at j it is actually the value at that given index right so if i consider this index 2 then you can say that j equals to 2 and a at j equals to 4 and the difference between them that is j minus a at j will be equals to minus 2 right that is what we are trying to find here and similarly this i minus a at i is actually an index which is not equals to j some other index on the left hand side right and in this particular case it is the same thing as index minus the value at that particular index right therefore whenever the difference between the index and the value is equal for any pair then it is a good pair otherwise it is not a good pair so we can count the frequency of all the such numbers where we are seeing i minus a at i value as same right and and so we will be able to determine all the good pairs how how it can be done you can think like this if this is a value j if this is a value j then j value here is 3 right j is actually the index so j value is 3 what is a at j array at j is 5 so j minus array at j equals to minus 2 are we seeing anything on the left hand side yet so i think yes we have seen in uh, so something on the left side let, let, uh, so let's consider this to be the i and in this case i is index number 2 a at array at i is 4 so i minus array at i 2 minus 4 will be minus 2 so since these two minus 2 and minus 2 values are equal that means they are good pairs right this is how you find good pairs isn't it so we can keep processing everything from the left hand side and we can keep a track of all the i minus a at i values and if we are finding a value a i minus a at i and if that value has already been seen so many times on the left then we can say that uh, this is a good pair right so let me just show you a dry run which will clear your entire idea so what i meant to do is i will be parsing from left to right and i will keep a track of all the i minus a at i values okay so i will start from this index 0 and i will be finding i minus a at i so 0 minus 1 what will be the value it will be minus 1 and what how many times it is occurring it is occurring for the first time so i'll just update the frequency before updating the frequency i will actually be checking if it has already occurred on the left side and if it had occurred in the left side it must be present in the map so this is a map but if it has not occurred on the left side that entry will not be present and so i can just simply insert minus one is occurring for the first time now you go to the uh, next value now at this point your i value is one and your array at i value is two what is the difference between one and two it is minus one so you check out how many times minus one has occurred yes a minus one has actually occurred and it has occurred one time that means there will be one good pair if it had occurred two times then there would be two good pairs right so i can keep a counter of the good pairs right and that will be initially initialized to zero and this frequency whatever is the frequency those many good pairs can be formed on the left side so one good pair has been found right so it will be updated with one and after updating this i can just increment this frequency to two because this minus one value has now occurred two times and i can go to this uh, second index right now in this case what is 2 minus 4 it is minus 2 right so has minus 2 occurred no so i can just update it for the first time and that's it that means it is not forming good pair with anybody on the left side if you go to this value then 3 minus 5 is minus 2 has minus 2 occurred yes it has occurred one time that means it is forming a good pair with one item on the left side that means it is forming one good pair so increment the count of good pair it, it becomes two and now after doing that you have to insert increment the frequency by one now go to this value four minus three so what is the value it is one Had, has this value occurred no it has not occurred so it is not forming a good pair or with anybody on the left side so just insert one with the frequency one and that's it so at the end 
whatever is the count in the g is actually the count of good pairs okay so we have counted that there are two good pairs right what are the actual number of uh, pairs so total pairs you will have is uh, your n value is 5 right so n into n minus 1 by 2 so 5 into 4 by 2 that becomes equals to 10 total pairs are 10 the good pairs are 2 so the number of bad pairs will be total pairs minus the good pairs which is equals to 8 so the answer in this case will be equals to 8 right so this is how we can actually find out all the bad pairs by finding out the count of good pairs now in this approach of hash map we have parsed this entire array exactly one time and we have done insertion and search on the hash map which we will consider to be order of one and therefore the time complexity will be order of n for all the n items and the space complexity is order of n because all the entries would have been unique in the hash map right having understood this let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums array so i am finding uh, the size of the array and after that i will be taking uh, the frequency map and the count of good pairs then i will be iterating for all the indices and i will be checking if the current i minus nums i has already occurred in the given hash map and if this value has already occurred then my good pair count will increase by the current frequency of how many times it has occurred on the left side right so if there was a value let's say 3 comma 2 and there was a value 5 comma 4 and there was a value 7 comma 6 and if i am finding for this 7 comma 6 6 minus 7 will be minus 1 but minus 1 values have also occurred for two other pairs on the left side so the frequency at this point would be 2 that means it is forming two good pairs with two items on the left side right so that is what we are doing and after having done this after having this addition when i go to the next item before going i will be incrementing the frequency for this minus one value and that's how it becomes three times now okay after processing this entire loop i will be coming out and finding the count of bad pairs equals to total number of pairs that are present in the array minus the total number of good pairs this will be equals to total number of bad pairs and then you return the bad pairs so this is the entire solution and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you